Hi everybody. I forgot which side my camera's on. I'm Chelsea. Um, I'm sorry the camera's in such a, an awkward position. Um, I had to sit it on my desk beside my computer. So, enjoy looking up my nostrils for the next few hours. <laughs> um, there was this thing on Tumblr saying, hey, let's do some Nancy Drew Let's Plays while we're waiting for the next game to come out because it's taking literally years. Um, I thought I'd watch a few. I never thought I'd do any, but I thought, oh, that'll be fun to watch. But then I decided that this year for spring break, my last spring break ever because I'm about to graduate college, I'm going to finally beat White Wolf of Icicle Creek. You may be thinking, but Chelsea, why haven't you beaten it? Because I could never beat the ending. I'm not going to spoil the ending for some of you guys, but I could never beat it before. And I'm going to beat it now, or else, I don't know, I'm going to burn my laptop. Not really. Sorry. So yeah, you get to sit and watch me play this game for a while. I've never done one of these. I've barely watched Let's Plays, so this is going to be fun <laughs> for both of us. Well, all of us, both of us. Probably both of us. Probably I'll have like one person watch, so the both of us. Um, fair warning, I've never done this. Another fair warning, I'm probably going to say some dirty things. Just, I remember hating this game, so I'm probably going to get really frustrated. Anyway, let's begin. Do, 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 do. Nancy's desk. This is one of the older ones. I don't remember what all's on the desk in the more recent ones. There's the this thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not looking at those. Let's just go ahead and read the case file. Oh, they don't read to you anymore. That's sad. I'm not going to read all this out loud to you guys because I'm pretty sure you can read. Um, blah, 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 blah. We're going to Ask Icicle Creek it's in Canada. I know some people from Canada. Woman runs a lodge. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Da, 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 da. Ooh, fun, scary. There's a wolf. Let's get going then. I'm going with Junior because I'm a pussy. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddy. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. But no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. You hear that? Well, now, what was that? Was anyone in the bunkhouse when it exploded? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Maybe I'd just be your new maid. You 
would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Your cook? That way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone. Why, well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Now, we're not taking any more guests until this accident thing is cleared up. So I want both of you to make sure that the four guests we have are well taken care of, especially that Olympic caliber cross country skier from Fredonia, Yanni Volstaya. The flair he brings to the lodge is just what I need to attract the European. I'm going to be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Oh. Well, do whatever you have to, Ollie. Oh, and Nancy, I want you to call this police detective I've hired as a consultant. I put his number on the phone there at the lodge. In fact, I think you know him. Gino Balducci? I gotta go. My lawyer's here. Good luck, you guys, and keep me posted. Coming! Tino Balducci. I'll get you a master key and leave not it in your room. Tino. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. That's not creepy at all. In her bedroom, I remember this place. I'm just gonna do a really quick update. Oh, and that's a really crooked camera. Sorry. I apologize for how terribly this is going so far. I've never done this and my phone started to die. I'm using my phone as a webcam. That's why it did all these things. That's why you heard those noises. Um, yeah. We're gonna continue now. I just, I had to plug up my phone because it was dying. And this one texted me, but I'm not gonna check that. Don't worry about it. It's like 3.40 in the morning. It's probably my mom saying, hey, go to bed. Yes, I still live. Anyway, on with the game. Alright, let's see. Let's go look over here. What's on the bedside table? This must be the key Ollie said he'd leave for me. Ooh, got a key. Got some stuff. And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. I hear it clicking. Sounds like there's a bomb. I've been seeing way too many movies. Let's see. Employee instructions. Maid duties. Cleaning. Laundry. Only the rooms. Make the bed. Towels. Oh, I remember this crap. Skating pond maintenance. Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. I don't remember that. Oh, fun. It's also worth mentioning that I usually cheat at these games, but I'm going to try not to. Especially since, you know, using my phone as a webcam so I can't pick it up and just look up the walkthrough or game hints or any of that shit. Shoveling the pond. I really don't remember shoveling the pond. Report all avalanches it's suck. to the avalanche patrol. Do, 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 do. Oh, fun. Avalanches. Criminal activity. The sauna. I love saying sauna like sauna. I don't really want to. Oh, cooking. Mother. <laughs> I'll never remember that shit. Never. Should probably be taking notes. But it's okay. Can I go to bed? No. Ooh. Do I have a key to this thing? Let's see, can I use my room key? Oh, there we go. Is that a room key? I don't know what the hell that is. There's nothing in here right now. That's fun. Mm, anything else to look at in my room? Do -do -do. Some of you who have already played this are probably like, Chelsea, you're missing something. Ooh, is there anything over there on that little table thing? No. Oh, this game is going to get This is going to drive me crazy. Nope, I can't go over there. 
What does this mean? Do you know what this is? Oh, it's locked, but there's a little turning thing. Chinook. Was that any of the notes anywhere? Chinook. Vacant is an empty. Does that mean I can use my key on it? Can I go in here? Oh, there's the door. Okay. <laughs> this is fun. I'm not always talking to myself when I'm playing. I don't know what those things mean. I probably should. Quail, quail. What's this way? Whoa. Ooh, the maid. I have no memory of what those things are. Ooh. Miss Spice Room. I'm sneaking in your room, looking at all your stuff. What's over here? Ooh, that's not terrifying at all. Winter sports. That looks like Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> oh, goodness. Crazy oven. Fun times. Urgh. That was interesting. Shit, I can't clean this room yet. I don't have anything to put the dirty laundry in. Barnacles. Alright, let's snoop some more. Can I use a key on this one too? What does this do? No, that doesn't work. Will you work? No, it was our shot. Always try keys on any lock. You never know when you're gonna find the right one. Who lives here? Ooh. Interesting. It's an artist painter person. The Call of the Wild. I've actually never read that book. Nope. No. Snowshoes. Can I steal them? No. I'm gonna try my keys that I know won't work. Because you gotta try every key. My mom's gonna be like, Who are you talking to at three in the morning? I don't know why I made my mom super. Shoot, I can't clean this room yet. I don't have anything to put the dirty laundry Darn. on. Klaka Ina. Which direction was it? Was that going this way? Pish, pish. It'd be funny if I walked in here and there was a naked person there, like, Hi! Geology, engineering, machinery. What are you up to? Are you digging for gold in them there hills? I can't. Shoot, I can't clean this room yet. I don't have anything to put the dirty laundry in. Darn it, Nancy. Uh, trying to keys again. Y'all are probably already sick of me. The two people who clicked on this have already turned it off. Oh, lady. Morkstaya hits the loose. I don't even know what that accent is, of course. Fredonia isn't a real place. Ooh. Knowing your enemy is the surest way to defeat him. I'm like a bad German terrorist on those movies where they don't actually sound like Germans. 100% pure journaling. Ooh. He's a biathlon person. He's one of those people that skis and shoots. That's dangerous. Biathlon barb. I actually really like those people. The ones that ski and then shoot shit. That's a fun, a, like, really cool sport to watch. So, ooh. Emergency exit. What happens if I do this? This isn't an emergency. I better not open it. This isn't an emergency. I better not open it. Dang I'm it, Nancy! supposed to use this door if it's an emergency. <sighs> You're so boring, Nancy. This is why. You... Ooh, a pee. Shh. 
Let's go talk to Mr. Bionic Buns. Ha ha! I love that pun. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yes. Is something wrong? You, you are what is wrong. Bitch. Chantal said there would be no more guests to make noise at all hours and disturb my training. Yet what stands before me? A new guest. Suck no, it. no, I'm not a guest. I'm Nancy Drew, the new maid. And the new cook. Forgive me. Allow me to start to. Yeah, because I'm cooking your food, Yanni bitch. Bookstaya. I am here to train for the Eastern European Cross Country Championship. Duh. I spend my days doing interval work, drills, and isometric exercises. I follow a strict program, one painstakingly designed by a team of the best coaches in Fredonia. In fact, Not under Fredonia. no circumstances are you to use your key to let anyone into my room. My competitors are constantly spying on me, trying to steal my techniques. Yes, yes. You think someone's spying on you way out here? One can never be too careful, so know this. If anything is missing or so much as out of place in my room, you can expect a visit from me, and it will not be a pleasant one. Well, that sounds like a threat if I ever heard one. Funny thing is, the name is Yanni. My first name is Jana, and it's J-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. So my parents always, like, joked about calling me Yana. You know, little bit, bit. Have you ever seen the wolf while you were out training? No, for which I'm very grateful. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. In my country, there's something else that's going to make you go blind. <laughs> I'm going to get flagged for, like, inappropriate content. You don't really believe that, do you? They are creatures of infinite evil. And that is all I'm going to say on the matter. I hear that a major cross-country skiing competition may be held in this area in a couple of years. This is very true. It will rival the Olympics. But it's the Olympics. Could that be the real reason you came here to train? As long as I have to train, why not train in the place where I must eventually put that training to use? As we say in Fredonia, I am simply milking two goats with one bucket. Besides... The fuck? My competitors will stop at nothing to defeat me. I am forced to seek out and exploit every possible advantage open to me. I take no pride in some of the things I've done to bring victory to my country, but I have no choice. You sound like somebody that kills somebody. That's all for now. Kavichi Naya. Was that an actual language? Kavichi Naya? Has anybody I could really look that up? Was that made up? Because, you know, Fredonia isn't real. Ooh. The Sona. Oh, there's a man. Oh, that's that dude from upstairs. This is so invigorating. Usually there's naked people in here. This is so invigorating. Ooh. Yeah, I wanted to look at that little meter thing up there, but I guess not. Need something. I'm just trying to get the lay of the land, or the lay of the lodge in this case. Well, this is my workshop. I'm building something that's going to solve all our problems. A wolf trap. One that'll finish off that thing out there once and for all. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything was A-OK -okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck, and something's protecting it. Something unnatural. Mm-hmm. Why do you say that? Yesterday I went looking for it. I tracked it and finally found it, sitting across the creek, not 20 yards away not from me, just creek. staring at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest <laughs> shot I've ever taken in my life. 
and a mist. So I fired again, and a mist, and then a mist again, and again. And all the while it just sat there staring until finally it just stood up, walked toward the brush just as calm as could be, and disappeared. Wild animals just don't act like that, and I just don't miss like that. There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to job out. You met my little girl yet? No, but you mentioned that her name is Freddy? Yep. Spends most of her time is outside. Is she from Fredonia? She builds herself eh, a little snow eh. fort. <laughs> just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with them. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day, but she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret <laughs> weapon. Yeah, she's something. Is that secret weapon crack? Does your wife, Freddie's mom, does she live here too? In the summer she does, but in the winter she goes south. See, she's got this nerve condition that makes her real sensitive to cold. Freddie'd like to go with her, but until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddie south too is out of the question. Well, that said, let's see, what do I want to ask? Um, I don't really want to talk to this guy, but I guess I better. Can you tell me more about the accidents that have been happening around here? Nope, sure can. Bitch. But I kind of need to know. Chantal and those lawyers of hers said I couldn't talk about them. Supposed to direct all questions to her. Sorry. How long have you worked for Chantal? About a year and a half. I was her first hire. Best hire, too. I could run this place single-handed if I had to. Just like I'm doing now. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been in the guest lodge business before? I tried my hand at it once. Long story short, didn't work out. But I've learned a whole lot since then. I could make it work now. Just need to find the right property, get my hands on enough cash to make a down payment, that's all. And stop trying to kill the wildlife. I'll get out of your hair now. Keep me posted. I'm very uncomfortable with all this. Let's just kill the wolf, kill the wolf shit. Also, wolves are huge. Have you ever seen a wolf? I'd be afraid it'd eat me if, if I went out there. Ooh, let's look at some stuff. Bone which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rexes. But Bone's not there. I wonder what happened to it. Did the wolf get it? Because, you know, doggies like bones. Ooh. Let's click button. Click, 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 click. I mean, funny if it open. If I just happen to catch, get it right. Trapper Dan. Ooh, cool. Are all these things Native American? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. I just like clicking stuff. I can't remember. Is this, are these things supposed to be Native American? Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100 year history. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are missing. Cardboard. Hmm. A pelt tax was levied against fur trapper. Trapper Dan. So they were furriers. That's fun. Nothing like Trapper Dan seen here with his pet pig Mary. Do do do. That's what you get for killing all the animals. I realize it's cold in Canada, but can't you just, you know, don't wear fur? Surely wool existed. There's a picture. Trapper Dan's needle. A needle? Oh, some kind of monument. Who is this? <laughs> Funny fact. We were talking about Teddy Roosevelt and environmental politics earlier today. And there he is. This is why I would never walk on a frozen pond. Cause my ass was fucked. Also, also because I live somewhere that <laughs> water does not freeze naturally. It was 85 degrees yesterday in February. 
And I'm not from the Southern Hemisphere, as you can tell by my voice. It's a big ass fireplace. That sounds dangerous. Four people with us. I don't know. I'm not doing any funny accents. I was going to do a funny accent, but I don't feel like it. People were forced to check out early because they got ill. Ooh, that sucks. Food poisoning. Ooh, salmonella. It's not a good one. None of the victims plan to return to the lodge. No shit, Sherlock. Hoity toity spa. Is it really a hoity toity spa if they just have a sauna downstairs? Ooh, that's not scary. Man attacked by a wolverine. I have a feeling I just sound just super southern. Oh, shit. I forgot there were people here. I don't want to talk to you two yet. I'll look at stuff. Some more scary deer things. Well, balls. I guess I gotta go talk to you two, motherfuckers. Let's talk to the guy over by the duck. Well, hello there. You must be the new maid Ollie told us about. I'm Bill Kessler. This guy's Lou Talbot. Hey. What's your name again? Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I'd come over and say hello. Well, Lou here's a grad student. Art major of all things. You're probably gonna need a jackhammer and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? That's creepy, you Canadian fuck. No offense to Canadians. You're pretty nice people. Uh, Are you two old friends? No, they're not lovers. hardly. I've known Lou for all of, what? About a week, I guess. I checked in right after he did. Mm -hmm. We sat down after breakfast one morning and discovered that this fox and geese game is pretty darn fun. I've been whipping his tail ever since. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm giggling too much. You didn't just come here to play games, did you? Heck no. I came for the oh, ice fishing. No. Of course, knowing there's a renegade wolf running around is kind of dampened my enthusiasm. Not your enthusiasm. Have you seen the wolf? Just heard it. Every night since I've been here, in fact. Gets creepier each time. They should get rid of it, and the sooner the better. They didn't put up with wolves prowling around this place 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with them now. Who would argue, Little Red Riding Hood? That wolf's Thank not you. hurting anybody. People should just leave it alone. You'll be singing a different tune when it has some little kid for breakfast, then has you for lunch. Not gonna happen, dude. Trust me, if something bad can happen, chances are it eventually will, dude. Hey, I know what you can do. Shovel the snow off the skating pond so we can do some speed skating. Lou here thinks he's faster than me. You're like ancient. Of course I'm faster than you. You may have youth on your side, my friend, but I've been working construction since before you were born, which means I am more fit now than you will ever be. Get that pond shoveled so we can settle this, okay, kiddo? Consider it done. So we got a construction worker, we got a cowboy downstairs, and I talked about Native Americans. You see where I'm going with this? <laughs> dun dun. Dun 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 dun. I click. No, I can't click. I don't want to go outside. There's going to be stuff. Ooh, that's a long way to walk to go clean off that pond. Why not? They don't want to go outside because there might be a wolf, but they want me to go out all the way over there and. Ugh, laundry. Darling Elise. Oh shit. I'll come back and read this stuff later because I just realized I need to go do the, get the laundry. Because it's supposed to be done before noon. So let's just run, dude. Pick up all the laundry really quickly. Oh shit. They were they're taking their things off the wall. Oh wait, that was just that one. No, I don't want to do that one. Just, I gotta get their towels. Or else I'll get yelled at. I can go do some snooping after I do all my damn chores. I feel like there was more stuff I was supposed to do. In regards to cleaning the rooms. But we're just gonna stick with 
getting the towels for now. Was that all the rooms that are inhabited? Yeah. Uh, where's laundry? Okay. I got the laundry. Now let's go back to my snooping. Now, where were we? My darling Elsa. Remember how I told you that I love you more than anything? Well, that was true. What's even truer is that I'm going to love you forever. Sometimes thinking about forever makes me dizzy. Like when I start thinking about the sky and how it doesn't stop at the moon or the sun or even the Milky Way. It just keeps going and going and going and going. I think I said too many goings. Whatever. But when I think about you, forever seems totally cool. Because it's one thing to, keep, to just keep going and going and going by yourself. But to keep going and going and going with somebody, that's awesome. Smile. Ride me back as soon as you get this. I can't wait to see you next week. Love forever, L. Ooh, who's L? Is that what's that dude's name left downstairs? Lou. She <clears throat> also was having major boyfriend problems. Oh no. Dear, dearest Elsa, you send your letter that you love me forever back. But if that's true, why'd you put off coming here to see me? When I read you weren't coming, I stopped and looked around because it just felt like somebody walked up and stabbed me through the heart. <laughs> I'm starting to get real jealous of that lodge you work at. You spend way, way more time there than you do with me, and I don't like it one bit. I can't help myself. I'm so in love with you. It's getting hard to see Easter. I don't know what's going on with my accent there. I'm just... Okay. And that's the truest thing I've ever told you. Come see me next week. Totally and completely yours. Bitch, you sound kind of pushy. <laughs> Dear Elsa, this time, when I read your letter saying you weren't coming, I didn't get sad. I got mad. I can't believe you think working as a stupid maid at some stupid lodge for some stupid lady whose name I can't even pronounce. That's racist. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she's just French. Whatever. It's more important than spending time with me. <laughs> if I didn't love you so much, I'd tell you to go take a flying leap. Since I love you more than anything, I'll just have to do something else. Like maybe take your... What? Take your precious collection of troll dolls out of the box you stored in my garage and dump down the disposal. Bitch. Maybe I'll sell them on eBay for a nickel apiece. I don't know how to mess. Okay, no. This dude is... That's abusive. Destroying your shit is abuse. Friendly reminder, any young girls watching this, you probably shouldn't because my language is terrible, but if your boyfriend destroys your shit, that's abuse. It doesn't have to be physical to be abuse. Leave his ass. Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. <coughs> Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with a check. Elsa. I'm going to call you, Elsa, and ask if your boyfriend beats you because you're afraid. Yeah, you probably don't feel safe with that asshole at home. Let's see. Maid duties. Pick up the laundry bag. Do, do, do. Make the bed. Ooh, I didn't make the bed. Whoopsie. Yeah, I better run make the beds while I still got time. Oh, why do I do that? That's my room. Why do I do that again? Okay, that. No! Oh, I hate these controls sometimes. That bed is made. No, don't want to do that. I want to do this. That was loud. No! I was just in here, wasn't I? I'm a fucking moron. Ooh. This doesn't have a thing on it. So I'm probably not supposed to be in here. Let's see. Ooh, does that mean they're going to yell at me for taking their towels? Okay. Beds are made. I did all that stuff. 
I'm gonna go downstairs. Okay. Pond maintenance. Avalanche. Currently taking this on a cooking. 7 to 15. Lunch from noon to 1. So I should probably go make lunch now. Probably. You know what? This sounds like a good place to stop for the day. So. Save my game. Go make lunch ho. Yeah, I'm gonna go make lunch next time and I'm gonna sign off now. And I guess I'll see you guys later. If you like this, if you didn't, oh well. But yeah, see ya. I'm never going to do that again. I'm so sorry. Mm. Bye.